Good morning. So we're going to continue with our discussion of chapter 10. We're going to be reviewing for the mid-chapter checkpoint today. Okay, let's start with page 419 and let's do the vocabulary section. So we're looking for acute angles, line segments, obtuse angle, array, right angle, and straight angle. All right, so a blank is part of a line between two endpoints. That would be a line segment. A blank forms a square corner. Okay, what type of angle forms a square corner? A right angle. A blank is greater than a right angle and less than a straight angle. That would be an obtuse angle. The two dimensional figure that has one endpoint is a ray. An angle that forms a line is a straight angle. All right, on the grid to the right, draw a pair of Draw a polygon that has two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of sides equal in length, and two acute and two obtuse angles. Tell all the possible names for the figure. <clears throat> okay, so. Draw a straight line, and we need. We're looking for something like a parallelogram, because that would have two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of equal sides, and two acute and two obtuse angles. Okay, so start with the that line. Or okay. and then connect okay. Call a polygon that has two pairs of parallel sides. Okay, so those are parallel. Two pairs of sides equal. Okay. Two acute angles. This is an acute angle. And this is an acute angle. And then these are obtuse angles. Okay. That's an obtuse. That's an obtuse. And then these two are acute angles. So what, what is this? Well, it's quadrilateral because it has four sides. And it's a parallelogram. It's not a square because it doesn't have four equal sides and it has no right angles. It's not a rectangle because it had, does not have four right angles. It's not a rhombus because it doesn't have four equal sides. And it's not a trapezoid because it has more than one pair of parallel sides. All right, so now number seven, parallel lines. Remember we said that parallel lines, the word itself has the parallel lines in it. We need two lines that look like the L's.
an obtuse angle. So you remember that an obtuse angle is greater than a right angle. But less than a straight angle. So if we start here and line up that, a right angle would be straight up the paper. So we know that it's got to be off the paper slightly. So it has to be open wider than a right angle. So that would work as a right angle. And it says ABC. So we need to label it A, B, and C. Intersecting lines that are not perpendicular. Remember, perpendicular means that it forms a right angle. So we just need two lines that cross, but do not form right angles. Okay. And it would intersect at that point right there. Okay, and then an acute angle, RST. So again, we would have, if we use the corner of a piece of paper, this would be a right angle. So a, an acute angle is less than a right angle. So we're going to go in. And angle R, S, T. Okay. 420. Which triangle has no sides length of equal length? Okay, well, remember, there's three names for triangles. We can have an equilateral triangle. That means all sides equal. We can have an isosceles triangle. That means two of the sides are equal. And scaling, no sides are equal. Which figure has two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of sides of equal length, and four right angles. So that would be a rectangle. Which quad quadrilateral can have two pairs of parallel sides, all sides with equal length, and no right angles? Well, that would be a rhombus. It says no right angle, so it's not a square. 14, what is the correct name of the figure shown? So I have one endpoint, and it goes on continuously to the left. That would be a ray. And its name is ray EF. So we could also call it. Ray EF. Describe the angles in an obtuse triangle. One angle is greater than a right angle, but less than a straight angle. The other two angles must be acute angles, must be acute or less than a right angle.
All right, so that completes the mid-chapter checkpoint for chapter 10. Remember that to be best prepared for this chapter's quizzes and tests is practicing the definitions. So go back to the first five lessons, look at all the highlighted yellow words, and practice them. Make sure you can draw them, make sure you can identify them, you just know them by heart. Okay. So until then, we're going to talk about line of symmetry next. May the numbers always be in your favor.